You're watching the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Salah to settle it in front of the COP. Right, AGT here with Turkish. We're outside the Emirates where Arsenal have beaten Liverpool comfortably in the end. Um, from my side of things, I thought that was our worst performance of the season and potentially your best. Obviously, we rode our luck with the equaliser. You rode your luck with the, the second goal. But Arsenal deserve to win today, man. I can't lie. I wish I could fight for my team a bit more, but I can't. Yeah, we did. We did. We nearly, not threw it away, but we gave you a chance to get back in it. Um, and I thought, shit, typical. But you gave us a chance yeah, to, to, to chance. then take the three points biggest. away. And, and it, it, in my opinion, in your opinion, it was well deserved. Mm. And it's about time. I mean, I looked at the Anfield game and I thought to myself, ah, a, a draw is probably a fair result this season. The FA Cup game, I thought, I thought we should have been two free up at half time. That result should have probably been three one come the end of it. Yeah. This one, we took our chance in the first half. It felt like we slowed down a little, let you back in it. But in the second half, you know, it, it was a mature performance from a young team. And that's something that this season we had to see. We saw it against Man City and we saw it here today against, against Liverpool. And listen, it, we are the home team. But generally, generally over Klopp's era in the Premier League, we've been smoked left, right and centre. Yeah. So it's, it, it does feel does good. Does it feel that. like it's about time you beat Liverpool? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's about time we started you know, performing at a high standard consistently against Liverpool. You know what, now in the last five against Liverpool, we've only lost one. Mm. One, two, drawn two. So the, so the record all of a sudden looks very different. And as Klopp exits, you know, to, to have that record against one of the best teams in the Premier League in the last, what, six, seven years, it does bode well, it does look good. But all, all tonight's done for us is put us back in it. Mm. You know, if you won it, we would have been out of it. We won it. It doesn't mean you're out of it. You mm. still lead the way, we're still chasing you. You've still got, you know, players coming back, Salah coming back. We've had a couple setbacks behind the scenes with Partey and Gabriel Jesus. So, you know, we'll deal with that how we have to deal with that. But we have to focus on West Ham now because this win will mean nothing. Mm. You know, it means everything now. And they've beaten you as well already, so you've got a bit of revenge. Twice. To, yeah. They've beaten us twice this season. Yeah. So this win means everything now, but it will mean nothing if we don't build on it. So I'm looking at West Ham now. Yeah, I mean, the first goal, I don't know how our defence was that open. Kai Havertz, poor one-on-one, -on -one, really poor. If you yeah. see it back, he digs it into the ground. It's a horrible strike. But Saka's there on the rebound, shades, but obviously it was onside. And then, yeah, I was watching it with Doyle. We were really disappointed with that first half performance, man. But to Jorginho. get a little lifeline, Jorginho was quality today. Class. You know, he made up for the lack of maybe physicality. And I know he gets a lot from Arsenal fans, but man, the match today from him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we get a foothold, don't we, with that, with that uh, own goal. Mm -hmm. um, and then, if I'm honest, bro, before you scored that second, it yeah. was looking like we were growing in yeah, and we were bringing our subs on. They were growing. 100%. And then we give you that absolute howler of a chance that I just... I can't watch that back. Yeah. I ain't watching that back. <laughs> you, you know, as soon as it went in, yeah, it was like double joy because we go back in the lead and also that error will overtake Saliba's error yeah. in the first goal. Because I knew what the headlines would be writing, you know, Twitter, even if we won the game, Saliba, yeah. you know, what happened to your young bull, what yeah. happened to... He didn't have his best game, He though, didn't man. have his best I'll game. Be honest, he didn't have his best game. He didn't, but when you look at it, he didn't have his best game and Liverpool didn't really have much, you know, how many good saves did Ray have to make? How many None. saves did he make? One shot on target, it was a comfortable one. And aside from that, you are right, first 10 minutes of the second half, you he grew into it, it and it felt like he was going to get the goal. But that mistake, like the mistake we made, you know, we, we, we took our chance, you know, what can we do? We, we let you back in it and then you let us back, mm. back in yeah. the lead. And then the third goal, again, takes a small nick off Van Dijk, goes for Alisson's legs. But again, when that went in, it was just a seal. Uh, do you know what? Genuinely, this sounds mental what I'm about to say, yeah, but I'd rather have lost that 3-1 with the Trossard goal than knowing that we've gifted you the game at 2-1 with that mistake. Does that make sense? I get you. I get you. It's frustrating because he was growing into the game at that point of the mistake. Yeah. So it, it, I, I understand what you're saying. But like, listen, overall, we deserved it. Trossard, Trossard's probably unfortunate to be dropped recently because he has been performing well, but Martinelli's our guy. And in that first half, Martinelli, he was a big outlet. Canate was, you know, the battle between Canate and Martinelli, it was a, it was a proper battle. Canate came out on top of that a lot of times. A lot of times, but I think in the first half, Martinelli was in that. Was but, but Trent very... was a passenger today, T, because... Yeah, he was ghost. There was he just was no attempt to even really intercept whenever Martinelli did the draw you in and then cut inside. 
So it's it's disappointing that he played, to be honest, because of the horrible news of what Connor Bradley went through, which yeah, yeah. all of our thoughts are obviously with him. But Trent just wasn't ready or fit or, or, or clever enough to play that game today. So, um, yeah, disappointing. Maybe he doesn't even start the next game. But, yeah, as I said, that third goal from Trossard just rounded it all off, man. Yeah. Um, two points behind Liverpool now. How does that change the title race? Back in it. You've got to keep winning. You've and if you lost, you're out. But you've yeah, won, yeah. so you're in. Yeah, I've, I've, I even think a draw wouldn't have been enough. Okay. So, like I said, this puts us back in it. So, in my opinion, we wasn't in it before this game. We had to win this one, and yeah. we won this one. And I like the way we won it because it, it was kind of like a statement. No, it was a big statement. Listen, you've won against City and, and Liverpool and at I home now as well. And I got 3-1 big six as well, you know. Prediction bang on, three listen, points. Perfect. I'll give you that. I'll give Perfect. you that. Listen, man, you, like Perfect. I said, you deserve to win. I'm going to have to hold it tomorrow morning now, <laughs> aren't I? But listen, I said to Turkish, I wish I could fight a bit more for my team. But tonight I couldn't. But I'm counting that as our first loss this season, by the way. The other one in North London, down the road, that's not a loss. I'm still holding that. But anyway, smash that like button, comment, go subscribe to the Big Six. Turkish doing some very cool stuff over there. And uh, yeah, big up again, man. Congratulations. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of, of football's, football's most, most famous, famous stand. stand.